introduction to algorithm of subtraction hello friends i am your friend the parrot and i welcome you to this topic come on let us see what you will learn in this lesson how to subtract a small number from a large number in a systematic way today chotu has gone for his friend sonu's birthday party look there are so many balloons while leaving chotu decides to take seven balloons with him 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now i will take these seven balloons home and play with them on the way he meets his friend arti She has just returned from her grandma's place in another city. Oh wow, Chotu! These are such colorful balloons. Yes, Arti, I will take them home and play with them. Do you also want some balloons? Yes, Chotu. Can you please give me three balloons? Yes, Arti. Take these three balloons. Thank you, Chotu. Then after reaching home. He shows all the balloons to his mother. Look mummy, I got these balloons to play with from Sonu's birthday party. Oh wow, Chotu. How many balloons did you get? I got 7 balloons from the party. But on the way, I met Arti and I gave 3 balloons to her. So now can you tell me if out of the 7 balloons you gave 3 balloons to Arti? Then how many balloons are left with you? Yes, mummy, I have four balloons left with me. Very good, Chotu. You are absolutely right. So, friends, in this example, you saw that if from seven balloons we subtract three balloons, then four balloons are left. Come, let us see how to write this in a systematic way. On subtracting three from seven. Four are left. Seven minus three equals four. Did you understand, children? So now, if out of these four balloons, two balloons burst, then how many balloons are left? Yes, two balloons. Can you also write this in systematic way? On subtracting two from four. Two are left. This means four minus two equals to two. Did you have fun subtracting the number of balloons? That is all for today. In this video, we learned how to subtract a small number from a large number. That too in a proper and systematic way. In the next video we will see some more interesting examples of writing the subtraction of two numbers in a systematic way till then my friends examples of algorithm of subtraction part 1 So children in the previous video you learned how to subtract a small number from a large number in a systematic way In this video we will see some more interesting examples of writing the subtraction of two numbers in a systematic way Pinky is strolling in the garden with her mother She sees some butterflies on a bunch of flowers Mummy, look! There are such beautiful and colorful butterflies. Yes, Pinky. Can you tell me how many butterflies are there on that bunch of flowers? Yes, Mummy. There are eight butterflies on it. Very good, Pinky. You are absolutely right. Pinky goes a little closer to the flowers to see the butterflies more closely. And three butterflies fly away. Oh ho! Three butterflies flew away. Out of eight butterflies, three butterflies flew away. So how many butterflies are left on the flower? 
five butterflies are left, Mummy. Very good, Pinky. You are absolutely right. So, children, you saw that if we subtract three from eight, then five is left. Can you write this in a systematic way? Yes. This is how we will write it in a systematic way. Eight minus three equals to five. Friends, do you know that we can write this in another way also? You don't know? Don't worry, I will tell you. We can also write it in this way. First, there were a total of eight butterflies, so we will write the total number on top. Then three butterflies flew away, so below the total number, we will put the subtraction sign and write the number that got reduced. Then we will write the remaining number, which is five butterflies. So children, from eight butterflies, three butterflies flew away, so five butterflies were left. You have understood, right? Come on. Now let's go back to Pinky and her mother in the garden. Now Pinky goes a little more close to the flowers to see the remaining five butterflies more closely. As soon as she goes near the flowers, all five butterflies fly away. Oh, mummy! All five butterflies flew away. Don't worry, Pinky. There are so many butterflies in this garden. You will see them on some other flower. So, children, now can you tell me if out of the five butterflies, all the five butterflies flew away, then how many butterflies are left? There are not even a single butterfly left on the flower. This means zero butterfly was left. You also got the same answer, right? Very good. So, children. Did you see that if we subtract five from five, then zero is left? Come on, now let us write this also in a systematic way. You also wrote it like this, right? Great. That was all for today. In this video, we learned how to represent the subtraction of two numbers in different systematic ways. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples and learn about some common mistakes that should not be made. Till then, my friends. Examples of algorithm of subtraction. Part 2 So children, in the previous video, you learned how to represent the subtraction of two numbers in different systematic ways. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples of subtraction and learn about some common mistakes that should not be made. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow is Aarti's birthday, who is Chotu and Pinky's friend. Pinky has brought four toffees for Aarti. Pinky, please give me one toffee. No, Chotu. These four toffees are for Aarti. I can't give you even one of these. I will get more toffees for you tomorrow. Oh, okay. Fine, Pinky. So, children, out of the four toffees, Pinky did not give even a single toffee to Chotu. This means she gave only zero toffee. We can also write this in this way. Can you tell me the answer? Do you think the answer for this will be zero? No, right? The answer will be four. You also got the same answer, right? Very good. This means Four minus zero equals to four. If we subtract zero from a number, that is if nothing is subtracted, then the answer is that number itself. Did you understand? Okay, now I will make a birthday card for Aarti. There are so many colorful pencils in that box. Can you give me some of those pencils, Chotu? 
Yes. Take these, Pinky. Thank you, Chotu. So, children, first there were nine pencils in the pencil box. And Chotu gave some of them to Pinky. Now, there are six pencils left in the box. So, can you tell me how many pencils did Chotu give to Pinky? Come on, let's see. First, there were nine pencils. If we take out one pencil from them, then there will be eight pencils left. If we take out two pencils, then there will be seven pencils left. If we take out three pencils, then there will be six pencils. This means Chotu gave three pencils to Pinky. We can solve this in another way. There were nine pencils in the box and after Chotu took some pencils, six pencils were left. This means out of nine pencils, six pencils were left. So Chotu must have taken these three pencils. That means nine minus three equals to six. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned how to solve the subtraction questions in a systematic way. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye friends! Introduction to Subtraction Hello friends, I am the parrot. Welcome to this topic. Come on, let's see what you will learn in this lesson. How does the number of any object decrease by subtraction? And how to do subtraction of one digit numbers? Today Chotu had gone to the market with his mother. He bought four laddus for himself from the market. Mummy, I am very hungry. Eat one laddu out of the four laddus you bought from the market. Okay, Mummy. So, how many laddus are left for Pinky? There are three laddus left for Pinky. But, Mummy, I am still very hungry. Can I have one more laddu? Yes, dear. Now, how many laddus are left for Pinky? There are two laddus left for Pinky. Very good, Chotu. Come on now, eat remaining laddus with Pinky. So, children, first Chotu had four laddus with him. Then he ate one. So, there were three left. But then out of the three laddus, he ate one more laddu. So, then there were just two more laddus left with him. In this way, the number of laddus kept decreasing. On reaching home, Chotu goes to the garden to play with Pinky. He sees some pigeons over there. See Pinky, those five pigeons are sitting on the clothes that have been put out for drying. They will spoil the clothes. Let's fly them away. Okay Chotu. Chotu and Pinky then wave their hands towards the pigeons. And two pigeons flew away. Look Pinky, two pigeons flew away. How many pigeons are left now? Out of five pigeons, two pigeons flew away. So there are three pigeons left. Come on, let's fly the rest of the pigeons away. Chotu and Pinky once again waved their hands towards the pigeons. And this time, all the pigeons flew away. Yay! Out of the three pigeons, all three flew away. So now zero pigeons are left. That is, not even a single pigeon is left. Come on, let's play now. So children, you saw how the number of pigeons kept on decreasing. In this way, if we take away some objects from a group of objects, then the number of that object decreases. So do you know what actually this method is called? This method is called subtraction. In this process, we generally subtract a smaller number from the bigger number. That's all for today. In this video, we learned 
How does the number of objects decrease by subtraction? In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of subtraction. Till then, bye friends. Interesting examples of subtraction part 1. So kids, in the previous video you learnt how does the number of objects decrease by subtraction. In this video we will see some interesting examples of subtraction of one digit numbers. Choto summer vacation is going on. It is daytime now. And he feels like drinking lemonade. Mummy, I feel like drinking lemonade. Will you please make it for me? Yes, my son. Go get some lemons from the fridge. Okay, mummy. I'll get it just now. Then Chodu goes to get some lemons from the fridge. Oh, I did not ask mummy how many lemons are required. No problem. I will take all the lemons. Then Chotu takes all the lemons and goes back to his mother. Take this mummy. How many lemons do you need to make one glass lemonade? Oh Chotu, you got six lemons. I just need one lemon. Thank you. Now please keep the remaining lemons back inside the fridge. So children, can you tell me that how many lemons did Chotu keep back in the fridge? Come on, let's see. If out of the six lemons, Chotu's mother took one lemon, so now there are five lemons left. So friends, did you see how after reducing, that is subtracting one lemon from six lemons, there were five lemons left? It is evening time and Chotu and Pinky are playing with five of their friends in the park. So children, can you tell me how many children are playing in total? Yes, five and two, that means seven children. Chotu and Pinky's mother comes to take them home. Chotu and Pinky, come let's go home quickly. Uncle has come to meet you. Oh, okay. Let's go, mummy. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Pinky and Chotu go back home with their mother. Now, can you tell me how many children are left in the park? Come on, let's see. Out of seven children, two children went away. So, there are five children left. You had the same answer, right? Very good. That is all for today. In this video, we learned how to subtract one number from another number. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples. Till then, bye friends. So children, in the previous video you learned how to subtract one number from another number. In this video we will see some interesting examples of subtraction of one digit numbers. Chotu, Pinky and their friends have decided to donate their old books. Chotu and Pinky are taking out their old books. Pinky, how many old books do you have? Chotu, I have five old books and I don't need them anymore. I will give all of them away. How many books do you have? I have only two books with me and I don't read them anymore. You have more books than me. Yes, Chotu, but it's okay. You give as many books as you have. That's okay, Pinky, but how many more books do you have than me? 
I have five books with me and you have two books. So, I have seven more books than you. No, Pinky. You have added five and two. Instead, you had to tell me how much more is five than two. Chotu, I didn't understand. That's okay, Pinky. Let me explain it to you. You have five books and I have two. So, if we subtract two from five, then there will be three left. This means you have three more books than me. Did you understand? Yes. Now, let's quickly go and donate these books. So, children, can you also find the difference between two numbers in this way? Come on, let's see. Neha has six toys and Sonu has four toys. Now, can you all tell me who has more toys? Yes, Neha has more toys. But how many more? To find this out, we will have to subtract the number of toys Sonu has from the number of toys Neha has. So, on subtracting 4 from 6, we are left with 2. Neha has 2 more toys than Sonu. Come on, let us see another similar example. The fat monkey has 8 bananas and the thin monkey has 3 bananas. So, who has more bananas? Yes, the fat monkey has more bananas. And how many more? To find this out, we will have to subtract the number of bananas that thin monkey has from the number of bananas fat monkey has. So, on subtracting 3 from 8, we are left with 5. So, the fat monkey has 5 more bananas than the thin monkey. Understood. So, that was all for today. In these videos, we learned how to subtract one number from another number. Bye friends.